Yes, the squad, we've just arrived at Loch Lomond and the view is absolutely fantastic. I've found a perfect little grass ledge for Jake to pitch his tent and I'm gonna go in my canvas swag bag. The spot looks mint, gonna be perfect. I'm gonna cook in my bush box tonight. We did bring a bit of kindling with us just so we're not tearing apart the uh, trees at the Scottish Locks. Just picked it up at a petrol station. Honestly, I'm just like, I keep looking over the camera because I just keep seeing all the hilltops and it's pretty clear and it's perfect. This is gonna be a nice little swimming spot in the morning as well. I think definitely gonna go for a swim. You know, for a swim to Hell yeah, lootly. This silver birch tree here, I'm just going to roll out my canvas swag, tying off to that tree to keep the peak of the overhang out. Come on, darling. Come on, come on, baby. Right, let's roll the old swag out. Hold it. Slants off a little bit down the hill, but that's all right because I'm going to be up this end, so I'm not even going to notice. And soaking your canvas helps it to become waterproof. So if you do buy a canvas thing like this, put it in the bath for a bit, soak it out, let it dry out, and that helps the material expand and make it more watertight. And then you get this nice little piece of uh, I don't know, it's like a thick mat in here. So when you get up in the morning, you can stand on there. Put your boots on, your socks on, all that sort of stuff without standing on the floor. And then when you go to bed, if you want, because it doesn't look the best, you can just tuck it under like that. And now the shelter's set up, let's go and have a little walk down to the lock side. I think my mate Jake's journey mate's down there as well. But this is how short the walk is. And we're already on the shoreline with the lock, the hills, the sun in the background. To tell you what, I've noticed a difference already. Just coming an hour and a half further south, away from the highlands, it's flipping lovely, like it has been back home. There's our mate Jake. What are you up to over there, Jake, lad? Hey up, lad. About to go for a swim. Go for a swim? Yeah. Can I join you? Absolutely. I think it's supposed to rain tonight at about midnight. I did look, about 30% precipitation. I'm in the canvas swag, it's not gonna matter. What are you camping in tonight, brother? What are you going with? Uh, I'm gonna be in my tarp. Yeah, I'm doing like my sort of super lightweight, ultra light tarp setup. With your bivy or? With my fly bivy, yeah. So Marsh. I'm gonna be protected. Mint, mate. Flies. Mint, mate. Right, let's get kit off then, shorts on, then let's go for a dip. Look at it, sunset in the background. <laughs> Epic mate, I feel alive. Still pretty cold, but it's bearable. It's actually, once you get used to it, after a couple of minutes, it's pretty sound to be fair. It's just that initial shock factor, isn't it? But yeah, looking good. Thought I'd bring you down here, cause then you can see it from the water. Good swim, mate. Legend. Good swim, over. he called it and he called it well. It's yes, wow. lad. That was sick. That's <laughs> one of the best ones I've been on. Mate, legit, same here. With that yeah. sun as well and the mountains in the background, honestly. Same again in the morning, let's go. Right, time to get dry. Hello. <laughs> I'm very sorry to stop and interrupt the video. But you're now joining me in the future, just for a minute. As I said at the start of the video, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So thank you very much. I'm out in future time, back home in the woods, and it's raining, it's pretty miserable to be honest. But I've got a bit of food to cook up from HelloFresh, which I'm gonna go and do now. I've got the tarp set up, I've just gone for a plow point. And I've got my Kelly Kettle Hobo stove with me. With the weather like this and everything being absolutely sodden, I've just brought the little stove. HelloFresh is a meal slash ingredient delivery service. 
that drop off fresh ingredients in a nice cooled box straight to your door. Which means you don't have to go to the shop after work if you can't be bothered, like I sometimes can't. And dude, I'm not even joking, I genuinely think my cooking's improved by using these HelloFresh boxes because I'm using ingredients that I wouldn't normally buy or I wouldn't normally cook with, so getting used to using new ingredients. The recipe cards are so easy to use. It's literally a step-by-step -step guide. All the ingredients are pre-measured. You might have to do a bit of cutting of some veg. So it's not all done for you. You still got to put a little bit of work in, but it's worth it. You really feel like you're making good, delicious, nutritional food that will actually keep you going on these adventures. And if you are interested, you can scan the QR code on screen or use my unique code which is on screen now or click the link down in the description box. Happy to have the garlic in there, probably one of my favourite things to cook with is garlic. Even if you mess up a dish, the garlic can help save you. And there we are, not too bad, eh? Italian style chicken in lemon and parsley butter sauce. And thanks to HelloFresh, once again you've pulled through with a delightful recipe. And Cheers. as you can see, Jake's gone with his Two hiking poles set up with a small ultralight tarp by Gossamer Gear. Looking pretty cool. Guy line at each end. And the four short ones. Jobs are good and right next to the lock, look. And Jake's just down there chilling. I think he's got the drone up at the minute. It's almost time to light the bush box because I'm getting a bit hungry, so I've got a bit of chicken, a bit of rice, a few things to cook up. There's no wind, like really, there's no breeze. Look at the uh, leaves on the trees. And I'm gonna be cooking in the bush box on this existing fire pit that's already here. Someone's covered it back over with stones, but I'll just take a few of them off. I might as well use it, it's already there. There he is, look. How do you, gang? You're Hello, right? mate. You going about squared away, are you? About squared away there, mate. Bed set up, good to go. Almost ready for some scrap. I'll get this uh, bush box on soon. Yeah, let's get it done, man. Sounds good to me. Little bit of fire rope, easy to light. Bottle of red wine at the side there. Sherwood's guarding that. The big bag of kindling. Let's get it lit. So we're having a little special tea. We've got a special Mexican style rice and a different branded Mexican style rice. Mixed them together, added a bit of water, chopped them in the frying pan and uh, we're cooking them up. And then I've got a bit of tikka, like um, pre-cooked, trade up tikka, chicken to chuck in there as well. Some garlic mayo with it, with the tikka and the rice, let's go. Sweet. <laughs> Yo, you joined me inside the canvas swag. Didn't really do a lot after dinner to be honest with you, we ended up just sitting there drinking a little bit of wine and... Uh, then a tinny, hit the hay, it's about half ten, quarter to eleven. Loves. Good morning, and welcome to a very still and calm Loch Lomond this morning, just as it was last night. Absolutely beautiful. There's a couple of wild swimmers out there, a couple of ladies out for a swim with their floats and the wetsuits on. Car park started to uh, get a few more cars in already and I don't, I don't even think it's nine o'clock yet. Jakey boy still got his head down. I've just got the bush box on and I'm going to cook up some sausages and eggs. Might go for another swim before I leave, I'm not sure yet. But look at them mountains in the background, man. It just looks so good, doesn't it? Slept pretty good in the... Um, swag last night it's weird because you don't get wet but you can feel when it's been raining because it was raining last night so you get like a bit of damp underneath um but other to that yeah all gravy stoked all right let's get the pan on do, 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 do. started to keep all of my cooking kit inside this uh pan bag it's like a poly cotton bushcrafters worth an investment just to um cover your pans with and it's David Fryers he's on Instagram he's got a website really nice bloke as well um, and there's a slug on my sausage and beans let's go there get off right then let's load up the old box sound like they're having a great time them two I sat there chilling, chatting for like half hour. 
Love to see it. But they're going to feel good for the rest of the day. JK, no. you up for sausage and egg, yeah? Yeah, man. Oh, new addiction as well. Reese's Pieces. They're kind of like um, Smarties, but peanut butter filled. Good little late late night snack that was. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That can actually die down a bit, otherwise they're going to cook too fast. And just in time when the food is on, look who has appeared out of his bed space. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Alright today, Brevskin. Alright, mate, yeah. Alright, mate. Good napskin. Are you swimming this morning or nah? I don't know, bro. Before we get in the car. Yeah. I ain't quite got the vibe though, has it? We had a sunset and everything. I like know. Time. Brecky first, that's for sure. And then, I don't know, yeah, might decide after. Might decide. Who knows? But yeah, it's been a long old week. Long old week up in Scotland. It's been mint, don't get me wrong, but it's taken it out of us. We've had a couple of lions the past few days. And um, today we're heading back down to England and to Northumberland to go to Keel the Forest because I've always wanted to go for a camp in Keel, do you know? Yeah, man, I'm down. People have spoke to me about it for a couple of years now and I've never been there. I might have been when I was a kid. I've got northern parents, so I might have been when I was a kid, I'm not sure, but... I've never camped there, that's for sure. Probably end up putting that camp in this video as well because I don't think I've got that much footage from this one. But yeah, it's been chill, man. It's been good. Almost time to get the eggs on. You. Right, so this morning I was laying in my pit, yeah, and I just heard this knocking for ages, just like... For like 20 minutes, and I was like, what is that? I thought it was a, uh, like a woodpecker at first. I was like looking around the top trees, I zipped my thing open, I was looking around, can't hear it, but it's just, can't, sorry, can't see no woodpecker. It's just like, and anyway, I couldn't take it no longer. I got out my bag, I got out, I was looking around the trees, it was a squirrel with an acorn. That's why I was up so early, that's why the fire was on. That's why I've been walking around like an idiot for like three hours on me ones. But hey, is that all, been up, really? all good fun, yeah, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As promised, the man has delivered the goods. The goods being a full flask of coffee in my new flask, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> Three hours later, and we've driven down from Scotland to about two miles just inside of England, and we've made it to Kielder Forest. We're near some weir at the minute, so I'm going to have a little walk up there, do a bit of a spot recce for somewhere that we'll be able to camp and get a fire on. Uh, look forward to that. Loads of scran, a few tinnies, usual shizzlers. But nature, man. Out in the nature. Got the vibes. Feeling it. And the drive into this place was beautiful as well. What a lovely looking forest. Loads of undulating ground. Different types of trees. And, uh, yeah. Stopped off at the Welcome to England sign as well. Got a little selfie. As you do. But, yeah. Let's go check this out. That is stunning. On first inspection, I'm seeing loads of alder. I'm seeing some willow, I'm seeing some silver birch. Just having a walk back to the car now and we're gonna sit and have a look at the map. And from that weir, up there, just on the left slightly, looked like a really nice little spot in some pines. So we're gonna go and see if we can find access to that without having to walk too far, because we're on holiday. Obviously, we haven't done a proper camp recce of this woods, but so far, the woods are either too undulating or there's not enough wood to burn it's all spindly branches and stuff there's no decent bits that i can chop up with the uh, saw and split down and it's all soaked as well so i need some proper decent wood that i can get to the dry centers I 
Okay, so new spot, new recce. So it's the third recce. And we've come to a thing called the wave chamber. And uh, it's a pretty cool looking spot. Views over the lake there. And Chris Drury, 1996. This curious little building explores the sights and sounds of Kielder water. Step inside, shut the door, listen to the waves, look down at the floor. Don't forget to give your eyes enough time to adjust to the darkness before looking down. When's the best time to go inside? You'll get the best sound of light on a sunny, breezy day. And this is it. Probably not going to camp inside it, but there's loads of places along this tree line. Probably set a couple of hammocks up. We'll be gone early anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Not, happening, not having an open fire. And here we are. The journey mate's already inside. Howdy doody. How are we going, Jake? Right, mate, I've just noticed there's some like pennies or something like, but people have tucked into the wall. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It says, come in and shut the door, give yourself some time to adjust to the dark, yeah. then look at the floor. There's no door. <laughs> Someone's bloomed the door off. Someone's had the door off. Okay, the, <laughs> the rain started coming down pretty heavy and uh, got a bit soaked. But we were looking for spots on the way back because that was quite a trek from the car considering it's already like six o'clock in the evening. We still got to sort all our kit out, get back and get back there. So anyway, we were looking for spots on the way back and we agreed if we find anywhere better, let's just do that. And we've just found the sickest little spot which is a good like 50, 55 meters off the track. Nobody can see down into here, but it's obviously a camp spot because we've got a fire pit with stones around, nice flat bit of grass, I think Jake said he was going to go under there. I might go under here somewhere and then views from the camp. So yeah, settled and uh, we're going to go grab our kit, come back, bish bash bosh, let's go. Fuse Nick just saying bish bash bosh, Jake bish, likes bash, to say bosh. bish bash bosh, you say it. Bish bash bosh. <laughs> Vibe check bro. What is it? The crush hour, isn't it? Crush hour, bro. I've not had this one before. It's nice. Goes down easy. 4.9. It goes down hella easy. Is it 4.9? Uh, 4.6. 4.6. 4.6. 4.6% 4. 4. 6. of uh, going down like a Amsterdam prosy. Apologies for the wind if it's a little bit windy, but we're back in the spot. We're set up. Jake's over there in his Gossamer gear, the one. And I'm back out in the canvas swag. I was gonna hammock camp it tonight, but when I saw this spot, this location, this little out sticky out bit, I decided to swag it again. There it is. Bush crafted it up with a little Y stick, a little toggle, and then it's just tied to the floor there. So it should be good. I was gonna cowboy camp it and risk it because I've actually checked the weather for this one and um, it was looking all right. It's not supposed to rain till about seven or eight o'clock tomorrow morning. And I brought it all down with me. Yeah, famous last words. Brought it all down with me. I set all my stuff up directly on top of it because I use it as a ground sheet if it doesn't rain and you know. And then I thought, I'm here, I'm by the water's edge. The weather says one thing, but the clouds are saying another. So I've set it up. Party on Wayne. <laughs> said we weren't gonna that's because it was so um like touristy and you're gonna get a lot of walkers dog walkers and people visiting that over there so i didn't want to have a fire but when we saw this it's flipping massive and plenty of fires have been in here so i don't feel so bad now so we've decided with the wind picking up we are going to have a fire i would have had something small on my bush box maybe just to cook dinner and then let it go out but now i think we're sound Probably a wise decision to put that flipping swag up, Jake, would you reckon? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking you did the right <laughs> thing there. <laughs> We've got some potato slices on the fry as well. Hopefully we can get them done before this rain comes in. Got a load of halloumi to slice up and just a few other bits of snacky bits. Obviously we sacked off the chicken, didn't we? So we're not having chicken. I'll have to put that in your dad's oven tomorrow. There you go. Nice one, Dad. Free chicken. <laughs> Happy birthday, mate. I didn't forget my phone. That is the worst smoke in the eye. Ah! Ah! I'm downwind, mate. I'm downwind. We followed up with some halloumi after our potato discs. Bit of grass there, <laughs> I do believe 
believe it's flipping bedtime, Jake. You can't even see Jake. Yeah, Jake no Jake's there. back there somewhere. Hey, there he is. Welcome to the party, Jake. We've gone tactical, mate. We've gone to full tactical mode. <laughs> it's the eye up. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, bye. I was too cold last night with my blanket and it was raining and my bag's on the tree line over there and I couldn't be bothered to get out of the bag and go and get my sleeping bag. So I woke up a good few times of the night just to rearrange my blanket and that, but that was the first time I've been cold in here with just a blanket. But I think it's definitely the wind coming off that lake there. Let's have a look out of the sun this morning. There's like an old building over here. Don't know if it would have been like an old lookout post. Don't know, I'm just trying to rack my brain. It was definitely a building up there. It's got a flat top as well. Here's all the rocks from it. She is a windy one. Uh, I bet you weren't as cold as me though, were you? No, mate, I was flipping up trying to meet it. Ah, yeah. Had synthetic quilt on. Synthetic quilt on. Bit of the old, uh, bit of the old thermorest technology. <whistles> I chose that felt though, the old uh, deer skin over, uh, over that any day though, in a pinch, I reckon. Oh, lost a lifetime, wouldn't it? Everything's clean. Traces be no. Legit though. And also, this wasn't us, by the way. No. That we are not that. We are not them people. We're uh, we're getting up and going this morning. Might stop off somewhere to go cook some bacon butties or something, just because this place is going to start filling up shortly. It's quite touristy, and we don't want to be here when a lot of walkers and that come. Also, I've done a quick sweep of the area, found loads of other people's rubbish, so I've bagged all that up, and I'm going to do the right thing and take it to the bin because it's not that hard, is it? Bosh, right. Let's get out of here. And back at the chocker filled car. Thanks for watching the video. That was a really cool little camp that. Even though it was a little cold, a little windy, a little rainy at times. It was really nice sitting by that fire last night with the uh, stones made around it. Just looking out over the water. And it was really moody and dramatic, you know. Had a good camp. Thank you very much for watching. I've just had such a good trip. This is the last one. We've got one more night tonight. I'm not sure if I'll film it or not because I'm going down to see my dad. I'm going to go see my mum, I'm going to go see my grandma, I'm going to go see my brother. So I'm going to do the family bit on the way back down. So I'm not sure if we're actually going to be out in the woods after seeing them or pitching in the back garden. Who knows? It's been mega. Thank you so much for watching the rest of the videos. Look after yourselves. Peace. Okay, bye -bye. No, you me. Bye. You're a star, babes. No Thank, you. You Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. She's a top G, wasn't she? Hold on. Yeah.